Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. Thought I would do another outfit of the day video for you guys. It's Sunday. Um, so let me show you what I'm wearing. I'm just going to warn you, I've been on a mint kick. And by mint, I mean blouses. I've like literally have worn every mint blouse I own in the past three, four days. Um, I don't know. I'm just really loving this color. And I, don't, I get into that rut where... I don't want to think about it too much, so I just go with like whatever I was wearing the next day, the same kind of color, cord, you know, coordination. Anyway, so just happens every now and then, but that is what I have on today again. Let me show you guys. All right, and again, I have on my Rivas, my Toy Birch Rivas. Um, they're just comfortable and they were out. <laughs> um, they were outside of my closet already, so automatically put them back on. Um, and then I've got on my Old Navy, my Rockstar jeggings. I love these. Um, they're just very comfortable, very, very comfortable jeans. So I have that on. I have a mint blouse, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then I've got on my leopard, there it is. Um, Vuitton scarf, which is just really, really pretty. And then a Target blazer, just a simple black blazer. And here is my scarf when I take it off. And then this blouse, which is just a mint. It is got like pleating here. Um, kind of, you know, just a basic blouse. It's from Forever 21. I think I had this since like last, I don't know, last year, last summer probably. Um, but I just love it and you can wear it tucked in or untucked and I think it's just really pretty. It's a great layering piece also. So that's what I have on there. On my face I have on the Yves Saint Laurent or just Saint Laurent since they're changing their name. Um, number 17 Ancre Rose Glossy Stain which was in my purse so I pulled it out and put it back on today. I don't know do you guys go through that where like whatever makeup you had on the day before, since it's still out, you just put it back on the next day. That's what I did. Um, on my cheeks, I've got Tarte's Cheek Stain in Glam. And then on my lids, I have on um, NARS Cordura, the duo, which I wore yesterday. But today I put uh, Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Bronze Taupe underneath it. And I really like the way that it turned out, like with that as a base, it looks really pretty. It's a pretty base. Um, I also have it in gold, bold gold, which is beautiful too. Um, but I'm liking those. And then just my normal um, stud earrings. And I finally remembered to put my wedding rings back on, which I have not done in like two days, literally two days. Um, so that is it. That is my outfit of the day for Sunday. Um, my hair is just there. I have not touched up the color or anything because I really, my roots have not been noticeable with it. This brown did not fade to red the way that most of my other browns do so I'm really liking this one and I forget what brand it was but I like it I've got the little card in my makeup basket um, but I have yet to touch it up so that's that um, it just has not faded like it might be my shampoo too though I'm not quite sure but I like it um, and I'm also really liking the texture of these glossy balms. They stain your lips. They leave a really pretty kind of soft stain on your lip. Um, but at the same time, they're not, it's not like matte, like drying. It's very moisturizing. And it's kind of, it's a very glossy feeling to them. But not sticky by any means. Um, and my lips have slip, which if you ever use a stain, you put it on and then you go, like this and your lips really don't move you know they just kind of get stuck to one another this one has a really nice slip to it and I really like that um so I might look into a couple more of the glossy balms because I think they're really nice um and then the glam cheek stain the tart it's tart it's called glam that's the color of the shade it's in a gold little tube um it has an awesome scent to it like a very pretty I don't know if it's floral or if it's candy-like, but it's a very pretty scent. And when I put it on, I put it on with a Real Techniques stippling brush. Um, when I put it on, I can automatically smell it. It smells so good. It smells kind of candy-like, like sweet. Really, really pretty. And I do that before I set my foundation. So I put my foundation on and then I do the Tarte Cheek Stain 
and then I'll set um, with powder after that. So it's like, you know, on my skin when there's foundation that's still damp, it lasts longer that way. Um, if I set my foundation with powder and then put the cheek stain, I get splotches where my makeup becomes like uneven. Um, and you can see like freckles shine through and stuff like that. So I really like doing it that way and then setting it with powder all over. And it stays all day long. I really do like that. So anyhow, hope you guys had a wonderful Sunday and I will talk to y'all sometime during this week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.